Hi everybody, I'm Sam. I work in Bruce's uh, Instrumentation Research Lab and today we're going to be talking about uh, surface mount soldering and making an FTDI USB to serial converter chip. And by serial I mean UART, so uh, low voltage, not plus or minus 12 like serial is. Uh, n now is a good time to focus yourself, steady your hands. If you're a coffee drinker, drink a coffee. If you're not a coffee drinker, avoid it. Um, you'll need steady hands for this. The components are small. Um, here's what we'll need. We'll be needing a soldering iron with a fine point on it. Uh, we'll need some water for the sponge. I like to drill a hole in the top of a pole and spring uh, bottled water or one your of water of choice. One of Jason's. Um, solder solder de-wicking, uh, de-soldering braid. I don't know what you want to call this stuff. It's like a copper a copper mesh that you can use to suck up uh, solder. Some fine, uh, some fine lead solder. Don't use the silver stuff. It's really difficult. This is uh, 0 0.022 diameter from Radio Shack. Uh, we'll need some tweezers. I like fine tips with a curve in it. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to grab the components. Um, some pins to solder onto your board. Uh, and we'll zoom in here in a second. Uh, we got an FTDI chip. Uh, the board, uh, the USB connector, some various surface mount components. You will also, you don't actually need the breadboard. I find it easier to just solder the pins on and you stick them in the breadboard and then solder the, the uh, board directly to the pins. So we'll turn on the soldering iron and to zoom in. Action. Through the magic of television, we are now zoomed in closer to the board so you can uh, kind of see what's going on. Um, Obviously, we've got different sections of the board here, so this is where the USB connector goes, and that's what we'll start with soldering. First of all, make sure your sponge is, is wet. Uh, clean off the tip of your soldering iron so it is shiny. Uh, what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of solder on one of the pads um, until it's just kind of covering it. Then I take the USB connector, make sure it's facing the right direction. There's some little holes in there that it kind of snaps into. Um, put a little bit of pressure on it and then reheat the solder and kind of push down and you'll feel it sh feel it sink in. Um, and once that's soldered, the USB connector is attached uh, by one connection. So now we'll go through and we'll redo. We'll do all the pads that hold the USB connector on. Alright, so there's that one. We'll redo the one we just did just to make sure it's got enough solder and everything. Turn the board around and do the other four pad, the two pads, total of four. When you're soldering, make sure you try not to touch the solder directly to the tip of the iron, touch it to the metal that's next to it. Um, if you're having a hard time getting the solder started, you can put a little drop on the tip of the soldering iron. That will help the heat conduct through the metal easier. So now that you've got the four mounting pads soldered, the next thing to do, and this is going to be a little hard to see in the video. Uh, there's five connections underneath the USB connector. It's very, it's very tight down there, so you're going to have a hard time seeing it. I'll show it to you when I'm done. What you're going to do is you're just going to glob some solder on the pins. Don't worry about making solder bridges. We're going to fix that in the next step. So, and if you get it on pads for other components, it's okay. You can get it off later. All right, so I hope you can see this. Uh, Underneath the USB connector there, um, the pins are kind of connected together uh, by a bridge of solder. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Up. Right up. All right, right about there. Down. Okay. It's all blurry. It's all blurry. We'll, we'll get a close up after. Yeah, we'll get a close up after. You'll have to take my word for it. The pins are all soldered together with a big glob of solder. So what we do now is we take our handy dandy desoldering braid. And we just kind of shove it in there and uh, suck up the excess solder. You don't have to worry about it sucking up all the solder. It'll leave enough underneath the pins to hold them to keep, create a good electrical connection. Uh, and this, this is where a lot of people have, a, have an issue with it. I don't know if they're too afraid to put pressure on it. You can kind of push down a little bit on these. Just try not to push and drag. If you need to, if you need to, if you need to drag to a different spot in the braid, um, lift up. Don't, don't apply the pressure and... Uh, don't apply the pressure and drag or you'll bend the pins. Uh, let's see. 
I've got a little bit more in there. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see when it sucks it up and when there's still a bridge. We'll get a close up in a minute. Come on. All right, that looks pretty good. So take my word for it. The pins are soldered down. Uh, I just sucked them up with a soldering braid. Uh, the next component we're going to do is this little capacitor right here. This is a this is a uh, one of the 0.1 microfarad capacitors. I'm not sure how well you can see these little guys in the camera. They're pretty small. Uh, it's the smaller of the two capacitors. You can tell it it's physically smaller. So I do these basically the same way. Uh, heat up one of the pads, apply a little drop of solder. Uh, depending on which hand you are and which way is the most comfortable, I like to hold the component in my left hand and the soldering iron in my right. I place the component on the pad, I heat it up with the soldering iron, release the soldering iron, release the component, and this, it's soldered down. Now sometimes one of the sides might be up a little bit, so I like to put a little pressure on the component with the tip of the tweezers and just kind of reheat the pad and kind of get it to lay down flat. Uh, I had a little bit of a glob of solder over on this side that I have to fix. Not a big deal. After a while of doing this, you'll, you'll get the feel for it. It's, it's basically just real delicate work that you just got to take your time and go slow. All right, so now that you've got one side soldered down, you want to apply solder to the other side, the side opposite from which you which you soldered down first. Otherwise, you'll release the component and it'll go all over the place and be a mess. Okay, so that capacitor's down. Done. The next step is to put the chip down, and this is the part that's most intimidating to people. Think it's going to be the most difficult. It's actually one of the easier easier uh, components to solder down. You want to treat it just like you did with the pins of the USB port. You simply apply a drop of solder to one of the pads, just like that. And then taking your tweezers, make sure your chip is aligned correctly. There's markings on the board that show which way is pin one. So you pick up your chip, you kind of line it up the best you can with the tweezers, and then you heat up the pads that you soldered. And luckily, if you didn't get solder on too many pins, it'll be a relatively easy process. I'm, I guess I shouldn't, should have had some coffee or something. I'm shaking a little bit. But right around there looks pretty good. You can kind of spin your board and see how it looks. Mm, I'm not entirely happy with it. I want it, I want it a little bit better than that. So I'm gonna grab it, put my soldering iron at an angle. And just kind of twist a little bit, just to get things a little bit more even. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So now what I'm going to do, this is the fun part. This is the part where people see this and they say, what are you doing? So you uh, take your solder and you create a big blob. Create a couple of them. Maybe three. And then what you do is you take your soldering iron very carefully. Don't drag too hard. Just kind of run it along these blobs of solder. And the solder will naturally want to go between the metal and the metal of the contacts and the metal of the board. So there, you can see that there's a little bit of solder connecting all the pins together. Um, I do this to both sides first, just so you don't 